Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you're running a Shopify store, or even just thinking about starting one, you've landed in the right place. Today we're tackling a super important topic that can literally make or break your business. Shopify security. We are going to dive deep into the ultimate security guide for 2025 to make sure your store is a fortress. You've worked hard to build your brand and attract customers. The last thing you want is a security breach ruining all that effort. So grab a coffee and let's get into it. First things first, let's talk about the foundation of your store's security. Strong passwords and two-factor authentication, or 2FA. I know, I know, you've heard it a million times, but are you actually doing it? Using password 123 just isn't going to cut it. Your admin password should be long, complex, and unique. Something you don't use anywhere else. Think of a random phrase and mix in numbers and symbols. Even better, use a password manager to generate and store these for you. But the real game changer is enabling 2FA. This means that even if someone steals your password, they still can't log in without a second code, usually from your phone. To set this up, just go to your Shopify admin, click on your name, Go to Account, and then Security. It takes two minutes and is one of the most effective things you can do. Seriously, pause this video and go do it right now if you haven't already. It's that important. All right, now that you've secured your login, let's talk about your staff and their permissions. As your business grows, you'll likely bring on team members to help manage orders, marketing, or customer service. It's tempting to just give everyone full admin access to make things easy, but this is a huge security risk. Shopify has a fantastic feature that lets you create staff accounts with specific, limited permissions. Think about what each person really needs to do their job. Does your marketing person need access to financial reports? Probably not. Does your customer service rep need the ability to change your theme code? Definitely not. By practicing the principle of least privilege, giving people the minimum access they need, you drastically reduce your risk. If a staff account is ever compromised, the damage is contained. Regularly review these permissions too. If someone's role changes or they leave the company, update or remove their access immediately. Next up, Let's discuss the apps you install on your store. The Shopify App Store is like a candy shop for entrepreneurs. So many cool tools to boost sales and streamline operations. But here's the catch. Every app you install is essentially a third-party developer gaining some level of access to your store's data. Most apps are from reputable developers, but a poorly coded or malicious app can open up a massive security hole. So, how do you stay safe? First, only install apps from the official Shopify App Store. Second, do your homework. Read the reviews, especially the recent ones. Look at how many stores have installed the app. A well-established app with thousands of positive reviews is generally a safer bet than a brand new one with only a handful. Also, check the app's privacy policy and the permissions it requests. If an app that just adds a social media button is asking for access to your customer orders, that's a red flag. And just like with staff accounts, do a regular app audit. If you're not using an app anymore, uninstall it. Keep it clean. Keep it lean. Now let's move on to protecting your customers' data. This isn't just good practice. It's about building trust and complying with regulations like GDPR and CCPA. Shopify does a lot of the heavy lifting here by being PCI compliant which means their systems are secure for handling credit card information. However, your responsibility doesn't end there. You need to be vigilant about how you handle customer information outside of the standard checkout process. For example, never ask a customer to send their credit card details over email or chat. It's incredibly insecure. Always direct them to use the secure checkout on your website. Be transparent with your customers by having a clear privacy policy that explains what data you collect and how you use it. This not only protects them but also protects you by showing you're a responsible and trustworthy business. 
Happy, secure customers are repeat customers. Another critical area that's often overlooked is phishing and social engineering. Hackers are clever. They won't always try to break through your digital walls with brute force. Sometimes they'll just try to trick you into giving them the keys. You might get an email that looks exactly like it's from Shopify, asking you to click a link and verify your account details. Or maybe a message from a supposed a customer with a suspicious link to view their order issue. These are classic phishing attempts. The goal is to get you to a fake login page where you enter your credentials, and boom, they have your password. The golden rule is to be skeptical. Always check the sender's email address. Hover over links before you click to see the actual destination URL. If an email looks even slightly off, don't click anything. Instead, go directly to your Shopify admin by typing the address into your browser yourself. And make sure you educate your entire team about these tactics, because your store is only as secure as its most vulnerable user. Let's also talk about backups. You might think, Shopify's a cloud platform. They handle backups, right? Yes and no. Shopify backs up its entire platform, so if their servers go down, they can restore everything. But they don't typically offer an easy way for you to restore your individual store to a previous point in time. What if you accidentally delete all your products? Or a new app messes up your theme code? Or a disgruntled employee decides to wreak havoc? You could be in a world of trouble. This is where third-party backup apps come in. Apps like Rewind are lifesavers. They create automatic daily backups of your store's data, products, customers, orders, themes, and more. If something goes wrong, you can restore your entire store, or just a single item, with a few clicks. Think of it as an insurance policy for your business. It's a small monthly investment for priceless peace of mind. Don't wait until you need it to realize you should have had it. Okay, let's shift gears and talk about fraud prevention. This is a huge part of e-commerce security. Chargebacks, which happen when a customer disputes a charge with their bank, can cost you not only the sale amount, but also additional fees. Shopify has some great built-in fraud analysis tools that can help. When an order comes in, Shopify flags it as low, medium, or high risk based on various indicators like if the billing address zip code matches the credit cards, or if the IP address is far from the shipping address. Don't just ignore these. For any medium or high-risk orders, take a moment to investigate. You can look at the full analysis, check the customer's details online, or even give them a quick call to verify the purchase. There are also powerful fraud prevention apps that offer more advanced protection, like blocking orders from known fraudulent addresses, or requiring additional verification for suspicious transactions. Being proactive about fraud is key to protecting your bottom line. Another important point is keeping your theme and apps up to date. Developers are constantly releasing updates, not just for new features, but also to patch security vulnerabilities they've discovered. If you're running an outdated version of your theme or an app, you could be leaving a known backdoor open for attackers. For apps, updates are usually automatic or require a simple click in your Shopify admin. For themes, especially if you've customized them, it can be a bit more work. You might need to reapply your customizations to the new theme version. It can be a hassle, but it's a necessary one. Make it a habit to check for updates every month or so. It's like updating the software on your phone or computer an essential part of good digital hygiene that keeps you protected from the latest threats. Finally, let's talk about what to do if the worst happens and you suspect your store has been compromised. The first step is, don't panic. Immediately try to change your Shopify admin password and the password for the email account associated with it. Enable two-factor authentication if you hadn't already. Then. Contact Shopify support right away. Their security team is available 24-7 and can help you investigate what happened, lock down your account, and guide you through the next steps. You'll also want to review recent logins, check for any new or unauthorized staff accounts, 
and look for any changes to your theme, products, or payout settings. Having a backup app like we discussed earlier will be your best friend in this scenario, allowing you to quickly restore your store to its pre-hacked state. Having a plan for this situation is just as important as all the preventative measures. So, there you have it. Your ultimate guide to Shopify security for 2025. We covered strong passwords and 2FA, managing staff permissions, being smart about apps, protecting customer data, avoiding phishing, backing up your store, preventing fraud, and keeping everything updated. It might seem like a lot, but taking these steps will turn your Shopify store from a soft target into a secure fortress, giving you the confidence to focus on what you do best, growing your business. Security isn't a one-time setup, it's an ongoing process. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this guide valuable. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our future content. Got any security tips of your own or have a question? Drop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.